Well, good morning and welcome to Windy Hill Kennel. This is May the 3rd and I give up. <laughs> I've, I've stirred them around here about four times. Come out here. I know you're stuck. This is Sugar's Litter. These guys are two weeks and five days old, which means Wednesday they will be three weeks old. So uh, they just got a bath, so they're all nice and fuzzy and white and clean. And we came upstairs. We're tired of the dungeon in the basement, so we're back up on the sun porch for the summer. And hopefully we'll get some nice days. We'll do this outside, too. Um, these guys are doing really good. Don't pull on that. I'm just going to pull that out. That's camp. And we started to do this on a table. And as you can tell from their activity right now, it was a... I don't know what you want to call it. It was a mess. Oh, well. Never mind. Whatever. Can't think of the word I want to say. So um, they're doing really good. Oh, they're going to finally chill out. And coats are really getting nice. Um, next week, we will start them on probably some, um, I would say, dry dog food, maybe even by the weekend this week. Usually by three weeks old, they are ready to start nibbling. And we'll start them on a um, little bit of cottage cheese next Monday. So that'll be something new for them. It's a mess when you first start them out because you got to put some in their mouth. Then they got to find out what it is. And then they crawl through it. And then mom has to clean them up. When they, you know how your kids make cookies or ice cakes and you got to clean them up when they're done? Well, that's what mom has to do with these guys when they're finished with their cottage cheese or whatever we're giving them. Uh, we also will start them, um, and I'll tell you a little bit more about that next week, a little bit more. We'll start them on some other things, too, just to give them a variety in their diet. But they will go on dry dog food. Uh, I do not feed mushy dog food. I hate that. So we only feed dry, and we start them out on a really super tiny little kibble that almost looks like Heel Gibbons Great Nuts, if you're old enough to remember that. It's a really super teeny tiny cereal that they had out. But this little dog food that we use is a real high protein, real high fat, and the pieces are so tiny that they usually dig right in and, and just take off and eat from then. <laughs> so um, we're going to give you weights as usual. Uh, we're going to give you microchip numbers and hold them up and let you see what they look like. They're doing really good. I'm really pleased with how they're doing. They're not crazy. Oh, I smell somebody. Vanessa already gave me the wet wipes, so we're prepared. Um, a lot of times when they get them at this age and they get stressed and they get kind of freaked out, <clears throat> they'll end up doing their business. And I can smell that aroma now, so somebody is thinking about it. I don't know who, but we'll see. A um, couple things, too. They've had their toenails cut. We've done that again. Um, we average about every 7 to 10 days on toenails. Sometimes a little bit sooner. People ask us, why do you do their toenails all the time? Well, I'll tell you what. I have bought puppies from breeders that when they come to me, oh my golly, they've got the most god-awful long nails. They're hooked like a hawk talon. And first of all, it makes the puppy walk funny. They get caught in carpet. If it's in a group, they run a chance of scratching each other's eyes as they crawl over top of each other or they start to play. And so we start them right off the bat, uh, usually by the fourth day, um, we've cut their first set of toenails off their front, their front feet. We leave the back toenails because it lets them dig in to move across carpet. Um, we also raise on carpet. So in all of their welt boxes, each mom has carpet. Um, if they don't have carpet, they can't learn to get up on their legs and walk and then their little back legs stick out like a frog and they actually stretch this tendon out so bad in the back leg they can't walk. So we start out on carpet completely before they ever go to newspaper. So let's get started. And, oh my goodness, okay, you're my first victim. You're out here. I've really got this scale. Since they're all huddling up here, we're going to move that scale out a little bit. Turn it to where you guys can see it. We are at 8218 is the microchip number today. Look how lovely these coats are. They're just nice and silky soft. They're growing so good. I love the, the, um, the type of coat our schnoodles have. There's a coat out there called a cotton coat. And if you've ever had a dog with it, it's the worst nightmare of your life. 
I've actually bought a Schnauzer once that came to me with a cotton coat and I turned around and sold it. I couldn't, couldn't cope with it. The coat is just like if you would put cotton balls all over your dog. It's constantly nodding. It can't keep it. Uh, it's not silky. It doesn't stay to where it, what's the word I'm trying to mumble out here? Um, it doesn't knot under their armpits all the time. Now, it doesn't mean that if you don't groom your dog for three months, you might not have a knot or something under your arm where it works back and forth all the time and makes a knot. But for the general most part of the coats, these mega coated dogs that we have, our parents have phenomenal coats. If I have a dog and I bought it, it has a phenomenal coat. I won't buy it without it. If I buy one and I get it shipped into me and it has a lousy coat, it does not stay. So coats make the massive difference in the quality of puppies. Huh, see the mom and dads make the big difference. All right, so let's see what this one, oh, you know what? I could tell you what the plumbing is. Oh, I know it's a boy. This is a male. He says, don't turn me upside down. So we are at one pound, 7.2 ounces today. I know it. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, it's okay. Yeah. Let's see, Vanessa, zoom in on your face. I know. Nose is starting to fill in black. I know it. You're not a happy camper. Vanessa trimmed the faces. She did a hygiene clip. And uh, that will get done every single week. So they're going to be used to clippers when they go home. They're going to be used to a weekly bath. We do baths every single week. So here before long, we're going to have somebody on a big bath detail. <laughs> we're going to have to hire somebody to come in and help us bathe puppies. Uh, oh, my goodness. I know. I see you. We actually are thinking about putting an ad on Facebook for anyone in our area that's looking for part-time help or a kid that wants summer work. Oh, I've got so much to do. So, hey, if you're in your area, or our area, if you're, if you're in our area and you have a teenager that has a good work ethic and wants to earn some extra money, um, we're looking for a jack-of-all-trades, somebody that can help with puppies if we need it, can help shovel gravel if we need it, can, uh, we've got some gravel we've been moving and we've been doing some remodeling in the kennel. Um, there's lots of stuff to be done. So just, just a thought out there if anybody knows anybody, I'm just saying, give me a call. So this is a chocolate male. You got male plumbing? Oh yes we do. I know. At this age, everything is scary and different. And this is the first time they've been up here with their eyes open like this. Are you really? Okay, hide your face. You'll be okay. Hide your face. There you go. If they hide their face when they get upset, they're much better. I know. There you go. You'll be all right. He's got a really pretty coat. Super thick. I love these mega coats. They're going to have awesome, phenomenal coats. He's got white on both back feet. Whoop, 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 whoop. You're not going to fall. I promise. I promise. I promise. I know, but you have to get used to this. Yeah. See, it's not so bad. We're not going to let you fall. Um, he has a white goatee on his chin, and he's got this huge white chest. I know. It's okay. This went off, didn't it? I'm really excited, too. Uh, we just got a hold of YouTube and asked about having, it's one pound, 10.8 having our time extended so we were not limited to a 15 minute video, which will make it really nice on us. Did you get a good face picture? Um, because there's lots of times we have too many puppies or stuff going on that we wanna tell you about and we're limited to that 15 minute period. So we now are free reign. So uh, we have much more time that we can do things. And uh, I think it'll be great that way. So this is, Microchip number 8217. And I know we've been discussing, I think this is a chocolate. Let me see your nose. You got a full nose yet? No. No. I swear. I think this is a chocolate. I really do. I do not think this is a black. Don't you think this is chocolate? I, it is a really dark, dark chocolate, but this nose is brown. This is not a black nose. So this is a really, really dark brown puppy. And I hope he stays that way. This puppy, the brown puppy, is gonna probably change. He's probably gonna get cafe in his coat, and I'll pick him back up here in a second and relook at it. 
8217 is the microchip on this one. Uh, this is a female. And she's really pretty. I know. She'll keep the white around her nose. All that'll stay there. Uh, sound like a raccoon. Uh, she's got to have her nails done again. I think we missed them. Uh, oops. Oops. This one's got really short toenails. This one's got really long toenails. Uh, we are at one pound, 7.4. Are you shaking? They're not cold, believe me. They are just, oh, we gotta move that ankle. They are just nervous. I know, and you're all gonna squeeze back in next to me. This is the other one that is not a black and white. And I don't know, I can't remember on the original if we said it was a black and white, but it's changed so much that I don't think it's a black and white. I think it's a chocolate. I think it's a really, really deep, dark, dark, dark chocolate. And maybe I said that on the original video, I can't remember, but I know when they were little, we were debating, but this is chocolate. It's got a chocolate nose. I don't think it's black. No, I don't. Are you just... <gasps> I know, I see you. You're being a good baby. So this one is a female. And 8220 is her microchip. Her coat's coming in really, 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 really nice. I know you're spinning around on me. I love the bra. I love the ears. And I like that half white ear and that little tiny white tip on this ear. Eye color yet? Can't tell you. Can't tell you. I know. I see those eyes. All right, let's see. You are one pound, 7.4 ounces. Oh, 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 yep, I know, I got gotcha. you. You gotta get back, I love this. Everybody's getting butt shots today. All right, so we got two to go. Hey, let me compare you two, because, oh yeah, no, this is chocolate. All right, let me do this one. This is the little Merle. I know. She is 8216, and she's got really pretty markings. She's got this little cocoa marking back here. She's got the cocoa on her ears. Let's turn you around backwards. They can see your coat and see the top of your head. And see your eyes. I know we were discussing this one, where her eye color is fall. She, ha she does have brown eye trim around her eyes. I know the family that was looking at this one, uh, we were debating if it was gonna have white eye trim or the dark eye trim, it's dark. It's easier to see you now, I know. Your nose is turning brown. Oh, the whiny baby over there is whiny again. All right, let's go over here and see what you weigh. One pound, 3.8 as of today. Okay, come up here. You're the other one I haven't done yet. Oh, you're really digging in. You're gonna squeeze in there and move everybody, aren't you? Oh my goodness. Okay, okay. It's all right. This one is a male. And this is a black. Uh, 5624. I know, I'm gonna turn you around. Really, really nice coat. Really nice and thick. Looks really good. Nice blaze on the face. Oh, I know. I hear ya. I hear ya. Let's see what you weigh. We are one pound, 9.6. All right. So that'll finish these guys out. And I'm really sorry all you get butt pictures. But I know if I turn these around, they're all gonna. Like, I know you're gonna all get squawky. I don't know if you'll let me turn you or not without you turning back around again. They might be tired enough right now if I keep them still. They might lay right there and go back to sleep for a second. If I get this last puppy out, you know, you would be the troublemaker, wouldn't you? Okay, there we go. Stay right there for just a minute. There we go. No, you're fine. You're fine. Oh, there goes the troublemaker. Well, anyway, 
try to get you to where you can maybe see faces again. You might go down low if it will let you, like down to the ground low. I know you two are struggling to get out of my grip over here. I know, just go to sleep. Shh. Okay, I quit. They're just gonna go wherever they wanna go at this point. These two are my troublemakers. All right, well, if you have any questions, give me a call or shoot me a text. Also, I want to let everyone know that because of the litters being born so close together, they're going to go home really close together. So if you have an idea of your schedule and you would like to be put on the waiting on the pickup list now for when they're going home, please text me and let me know when you want to pick up your puppy. That would be great. And um, if you're going to be using a nanny, you can let me know about that and I'll be glad to send you the nanny information. I give up. I know. I give up. You're just, you and this one are my troublemakers. Here, let's stick you in the middle. Is that your problem? Are you a squisher? Sometimes they like to be squished. See there? It was a squish issue. She just wanted to be squished. This one's just a problem all the way around. <laughs> all right. Have a good week. Call me if you have any questions. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you soon.